Hello everyone, my name is Omar from Detective Shop Company in Dubai. Today we'll show you guys how to use the UIG ground scanner app. After we connect the battery to the main unit, now we're gonna click in the UIG ground scanner app. First of all, we're gonna see all the systems, plus we have our save files that we can see here. And also we have example one and two and three. If you want to see any example for the 3D imaging system. Second, we're gonna to go to the setting. We have six different languages that comes with the device. So we can choose any preferred language. Here we have the sound option. So we can put it on sound or on mute. And also for the vibration and also for the capture button for the 3D imaging system if you want to use it on the left side or the right side of the tap. Now we'll go back. First, we're gonna start with a ground life scan system. Now here's a demo how to use the device. We should always use it in a straight way. So we, now we're gonna click on start. We have to keep the device calibrated to the ground about five to 10 centimeters. So now the device is not calibrating with us. If it's calibrated, the circle will be inside here. So we can recalibrate by pressing here and also we can mute the sound and also we can see here all the signals so if we have a red signal that means we have metal and if we have a blue signal that means we have voids or tunnels and also the values we can see from here and also we can go back on time and select our timeline where we saw our target so we can get back to that spot and also we have the green color for the normal soil and also we have the yellow color for mineralized soil now we'll go back we'll choose the wall life scan system here is a demo how to use the wall life scan system so we should keep the coil about 5 to 10 centimeters from the wall and now we're gonna click start the device is calibrating After that, we're gonna see the same thing for the wall life scan system. So we have the voids, the metal and the values and also the timeline. And here the device is calibrating with us. And also we have the mute and unmute button. Now we'll go to the last system, which is the 3D imaging system. We're gonna click on the 3D imaging system. And here we're gonna see the lines. So we can increase and decrease the lines which is the steps or the lines that we're taking. Now, in each line, we can choose our steps so we can get the full area that we scan. So we can put, for example, five lines and five steps. We're gonna click next. And here we have to choose our soil type. So we have normal, rocky, sand, and mineral. Now we'll go to the search direction. Here we have the parallel search direction which we can move with the device 30 centimeters between each step and also at the finish line we're gonna start from the second line as we can see here in the demo and also here the zigzag where we have to move and continue scanning for the next line and going backwards now we're gonna choose start and here we have the 3d imaging page where we can see the steps that we're taking and also the lines and the value and here we can see if the device is calibrating with us or not and also here we have this button to hide and unhide the menu here and also here we have the option to mute and unmute and also we can take the picture by the tap and we can take it by the trigger that's on the device now we will talk about after we finish the scan how the picture will be and we'll do more analysis and now after we finish doing the 3d imaging system we will now do more analysis that's in the th hmm. and now after we finish doing the 3d imaging system scanning we can see here all the analysis now we'll explain to you guys first here we have the bar where you can see all the percentage from the metals and cavities and normal soil also the mineralized soil and now we'll explain the 2d option First here we have the option to, for the grid lines so we can see more clear image and also we have here 
the possible target which the device will give us automatically and also we have here for the contrast of the colors so we can see more in sharp lines and also here we have the values so if we put back the grid lines we can see the values which is very important to us where we can measure between each step if the values is close to each other and also we have the layers option which is the unique thing about the UID ground scanner so here we can see in layers and also we have the option to take off the layer and we can separate them by metals or cavities so here we can see the cavities separately and also we can see both together here we have the grid lines and also we can see the possible target and also we can see from different views and also we can see here the separation layer option and we can increase and decrease the heights so we can see our targets more clear and also we have this option where we can put the picture in the default mode and also we have the save option so if we press on that we can save directly to the files where we can see it in the main menu now we'll go to the 3d option where we can see our target in 3d mode so we can see more clear and we can rotate the picture wherever we want and also here we have the grid lines option and also we can increase and decrease the heights of the cavities and metals so we can see our target more clearly and also we can decrease it in the opposite side so we can see it flat like 2d and also here we have the values now we'll increase the heights so we have here different streamlines so we can see our picture and also we have the cubic line so here we have the sharp lines and the stream lines and also here we have the option to zoom in and zoom out and we can use it by our hands and that was a brief explanation on how to use the UIG ground scanner. Detector Sharp Company provides you the best prices, free training, and shipping to all countries. To order the device or more information, contact us.